Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about self-care for writers. My number one tip for writers to take care of themselves is to step away from your story. Seriously, I don't mean step away and go a different story. I just mean step away in general. Take a fucking break because you need it and you deserve it. There is so much pressure to get out a book especially in like the author tube and the writing community online space like if you've been talking about your book for fucking years people just expect it to come out and sometimes you feel like oh well i'm gonna let all these people down if it, this isn't the book that happens and yeah that's a huge pressure on everybody but guess what your book's gonna be shit when it comes out if it does come out if you never took a break because you need that time away from it in general and if you force yourself it's not going to be as great of a story as it could be and you're just gonna hurt yourself in the end number two is the dreaded saying of change projects i know no one wants to hear that their baby is not ever going to be ready or that it's not the right story or it's not the right time no one wants to hear that but sometimes it's just the truth and it's a hard truth it's a difficult truth it's a truth i had to consider for myself um but haven't gotten to yet and i don't think i will but who knows um, but either change the project temporarily or change the project in general. Maybe you'll come back to it one day, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a story you had to write to learn, and that is completely alright. But don't feel ashamed just because you told people online that you're writing this book. You can always change your mind, you can always work on something else, and people will understand. If they don't, they're dicks and fuck them, so there's that. <laughs> Number three is to refill your creative well. I made a whole video on how to do this in my first video of the month. I'll link it right up there. Um, just refill your creativity, refill your passion and your inspiration for the book. Um, you can do this in tons of different ways, but there's a whole video on that. So we're not going to give it that today. Just refill it because you're going to be running out empty. It's like a car just puttering across the side of the road. You can't win the race if you're puttering. Number four is to find what self-care things work best for you. What makes you feel the best about yourself? What makes you refill your well? What makes you reignited in passion and in love with your story? What works for you? Because what works for somebody else isn't going to work for you necessarily as well. So for example here, I have this self-care book for Virgos. I'm a Virgo, so I recommend everyone, you know, these are all actually different. I've seen some people say that they're saying exact content. They are not. They are all specific to your sign. So. Find something like this that's going to be specific for you or make a list of things that are, um, you know for a fact are self-care for you. Is it a long bath? Is it a really hot shower? Is it going and taking a walk in the morning? What is it? Make a list and then you can go through and you can do them whenever you need a break, whenever you need a breather, whenever you need to recharge. Go and do these things. But I love these books. They're, they're so cute. <laughs> Number five is similar because it's to make a self-care kit. This kind of goes along with your list. So your list of things might include like a long bath so then in your kit you would have a bath bomb so it's just a place where you can put all these things and you could just look at them and be like ah tonight I'm going to use this to relax as a prize for having worked on my story all day or if I get to the certain word count I'm going to give myself this or I've worked really hard already I'm gonna give myself this just things that are specific to you that bring you joy even if it's just to look at to hold to experience something if it's like your old yearbook you're like hey i found this i want to really look through it but i really don't have the time right now put it in the self-care kit and then later on you can flip through it and be like oh i'm so happy that i got to see and go through all these memories and everything but i'm super proud of myself because i waited and didn't spend the time doing this when i could have been writing i did the writing and this is my reward for it, it feels a whole lot different than oh i'm procrastinating it's a reward instead. So uh, that's another <laughs> tip I didn't write down. But if you want to procrastinate with something, make that thing your reward after you're done with your daily work. Like if you hit your word count, if you made the chapter, you finished the edits you wanted to do, make that thing you wanted to use to procrastinate earlier to the thing that is your prize for finishing it. Instead of having that guilt you have when you're procrastinating on something, you will then have pride in the fact that you finished and you completed what you set out to do and it makes the thing feel so much sweeter. It's like if you hand her an ice cream compared to if you store bought it. Number six is a simple one, but wash your blankets and sheets. Oh my God. I feel like everyone forgets to do this unless like you spill food on it, but it's life changing. If you especially do this and like turn on the dryer right before you go to bed and then just like fix your bed and get in and it's still warm. <sighs> one, your, wa your blankets, your sheets, your pillowcases, they're probably fucking filthy because I know I always forget to do this. So do it for yourself because life-changing self-care. Seven is similar. Wash your makeup brushes. When is the last time you did that? For me, it's literally been like years. So this is another self-care thing. Just make sure that you don't have to wear makeup for like a couple days and then go wash them and let them dry. 
and life-changing again on your face. It's just simple things like this, like washing things that you forget to wash, doing certain things that bring you joy but you never get to do. Those things can just bring you so much random joy. So just find your thing that like makes you happy like that. Number eight is another simple thing. Eat a salad. Cause you will feel like a fucking health guru for the rest of the day and you'll be living your best life. You'll be like, I have my entire life together. I am an adult. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I pay taxes. <laughs> like you'll feel like you have your whole life together if you just eat a salad. And not like a basic salad, like lettuce and ranch. I'm talking like you throw up some croutons, throw up some like bacon bits, throw some like, well, if you want to be a health guru, probably not that part, but like whatever else goes in like a healthy salad, like do that. <laughs> Life changing. But those are my tips on how to take care of yourself as a writer. So do tell me yours down below. What is a part of your self care kit, your list, etc.? Do tell me down below and maybe I will throw them all together into a list of recommendations for how to take care of yourself as a writer. But that's it for me today. So remember to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe because I make writing crime related videos every Friday. I'll see you guys later, so bye!